What's it feel like when you hit those moments when you become the king of College Park and do that flex and the whole building's yelling for you? How, how cool does that make you feel? I didn't know I was the king of College Park, but <laughs> I'll take that. No, it was great. Uh, it was great. Just uh, And I talk about the fans all the time. I love the fans. I love Maryland. Well, I'm sorry about more yeah. about how does – none of us get to do this, but you get to go out there and flex and you just dominate the opponent. And just like look at your face. What's that feel like? It feels great. Uh, it feels great. You know, it's, it's it's just I don't know really how to describe. It just feels great, honestly. And I we won the game. That's all that matters right now. It feels great. We don't really want to see him flex anyway. <laughs> 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 Duncan, the dunk on Harms. What did you see before you went up, and what was going for your mind? I was trying to finish the play, score the ball. That's I didn't even see him or think about anything. I was just I just got the ball and I was trying to score. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Bruno. Thanks, Bruno. Yeah. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Got you the ball a little bit more in the second half? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Uh, yeah, I got, got to touch the ball a little more and make pass. That was good. I was going for five assists. Wow, I just got four. <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how big were those passing out of double teams, finding sticks the way you did for, for the run that you guys made? It was huge. Uh, we've been working on that every day at practice. And sometimes I'll be mad at myself because I can never find them against double teams because sometimes it's so hard to see that, uh, to make that pass. And um, But today, just the look was there all the time. Uh, they tried to double team uh, as hard as they could. And I made a lot of great passes out uh, for the open three. So they trying to take that away. And I had nobody else but sticks. And I'm glad I was able to make the pass. How big was this one? <clears throat> because you had his head right back out on the road. And you know you got the 10 wins in the conference. You're still looking ahead to get that double bind tournament? It was it was a huge win for us. Um, I think it, it helps us build out on our confidence for sure. The freshmen as well, just uh, how well they played. Uh, I think that that's a win that we can look back and just, you know, kind of realize that we're able to stand again with anybody in our conference. And, um, you know, they're a great team. They, they run their offense extremely well. They're really well coached. Uh, they got a lot of great players. And for us, that win uh, means a lot. But, you know, we're taking one game at a time. we got Michigan next. That's what we're thinking about right now. Going back to this game in the second half, you held them to 18 points. What was the key in between the first and the second? What changed defensively? Just like an in defensively. I think as a team, we did a way better job on the second half defensively. Just staying connected, get stops, and making runs from there. Uh, I think they got a little tired, too, in the second half, just the way we were um, guarding um, the ball. And I got to give a lot of credit to Daryl and Anthony. They played, they played their minds of just guarding screens all the time and getting through screens and all that. So that was great to see as well. During the run offensively, you and Sticks emerged. I think you guys had 23 of your 28 points in the second half. What was the difference as far as being able to get the ball inside to you guys? It was just finding each other, really. And Coach also said there at halftime, we got to try to play through the post a little more. Uh, I think we were able to, we, we almost got everything we wanted when the ball went inside. And uh, for me, my ability to, you know, just get back to the double team and find open guys, that also helped a lot. They, they, they had to try to figure out something else to do and, and a different way to guard. But that was great. We was just trying to find each other, really. Could you talk about the freshmen? Uh, at one point, they scored 21 straight in the second half. I mean, how, how big a deal? I mean, could this be the game where they the coming out of the freshman group? Yeah, they, our freshmen's growing up, uh, and it's great to see. Um, just him, them having the confidence they have and stepping up and get, getting situations like that is it's great for us, you know. That's what we work every day for, to see them just growing throughout the season and they doing that, and it's great to see. And Eric and Ricky, even even the other ones that don't play as much, they're just doing a great job, just being prepared on the bench when everything happens. Scott. Purdue's coach was complimenting how well they play defensively as, as a young group. How much have they embraced defense and how have they grown as uh, we do. Uh, defense is something that Coach Sturge emphasizes every day. I think to win games for us, we got to be a great defensive team, and I think we take pride on that. Uh, just try to get as many stops as we can, and uh, that's one thing that sometimes in game situations we like we let up on defense a lot of times. And 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 when we locked in, we 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 can tell ourselves that when we locked in, we're a much different team when we locked in on defense. With a team that runs so many different actions, 
like Purdue does, how hard is it to follow the scouting report, to stay with the scouting report, and how much did that help tonight in terms of what you saw on tape? Scouting report, uh, I think it helped us a lot, uh, just recognizing, like, game situation and double screens and whenever they try to get pin downs for open shot for um, Carson Edwards or the other guy, Klein, and uh, it helped us a lot just recognize game situations. But, um, like you said, they got a lot of plays, and sometimes they get us confused on the court, but it's just about us, like I said, staying connected and just talking on defense. That was really the main thing for us tonight, just talking, communicating, and, and Anthony, like I said, they did a huge job today.